in Wallatopia. Please visit Wallatopia.info for more information and to sign up to be included on our drawings we do every other week for wallets we review on this program. Please look at the notes below for links on this wallet as well as other program information. Now today we're going to review and open up the Andar Ranger wallet. The Andar came like this. They uh, all tend to come in this style of a box. It's cardboard and opens up at the top. Let's get that opened up here. Comes with a nice thank you card. Discount as well. It's always good advertising. Got kind of a cotton bag here, it looks like. Pull it out. Here is our wallet. This is tan. It is bifold. Get a close look at it here. Yeah, can you hear this crunchiness? Hmm. You can thank RFID material for that. Well, let's uh, look at the stitching on this a bit. Looks to be reasonable. Fold it over edges. Now let's do a feature review of the Andar Ranger bifold wallet. As you can see from this wallet, it uh, on the outside has a quick access slot right here. It's got a quick thumb push here on the bottom, which is very nice. The opposite side has no external features on it, but it does provide this pull tab, which, if we go to the top down, provides access to cards that uh, can be placed on the interior here. This is an elastic pull tab here, so it doesn't require the push of cards down to retract it. If we open it up, we can see that on the left hand side we've got two card slots here and on the flip, hand, flip side we've got a cash strap. And we'll talk about this a little bit more as we go. So that is a review of the features of the Andar Ranger by Full Wallet. Now into the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, we got five cards in the pull tab area, one in the quick access, and two in each of the other slots, and we had seven slips of cash. Now, the company says that it can hold up to 10 cards, but 10 cards leaves it a little bulky, so I think that really would be its max. I think they're right there. Um, seven slips of, of US cash, it's a little slim for the yen or euro, and I didn't show you that. Let's look at this right now. So if we take euros, we fold those over and put them in, we'll notice that it does tend to crawl over the edges. And yen is about the same size as, as euros in that case, and you'll notice that uh, it has a tendency to crawl over here as well, just a little outside of it. But again, they don't advertise that's the case, so it's uh, not that big of a deal. Andar says it's full grain, crazy horse leather, now, I question that, but anyway, the if we look at this here, we can tell that we have inward folded uh, sides on this, and then of course it's sewn all the way through. And that uh, just indicates that it's a probably a thinner leather, and that's how they prefer to protect the edge versus burnishing or painting. This is another method to do that. It is RFID protected, and the sound, like at the very beginning, it makes this crunchy sound. Okay, maybe it's not that crunchy, but it's crunchy. Uh, I don't really like the RFID. It really takes away from the longevity of the wallet and the leather. You can see up here what I think about that. Anyway, the pricing is $49. It is designed in Germany and it's made in China. The price is a little high for this uh, wallet's construction in my mind and the materials offered, which is will be reflected in the score. Now, from a usability perspective, 
If cash is going to be external to a wallet, I've really come to prefer this strap design they have here, you see here. It really works better. Better Metal clips don't mesh well with leather due to many reasons, like it's hard for the manufacturers to secure them, they rub against the leather and cards and cause damage, it's more rigid than material so that it's matched up with, which hampers the braking period, etc. So I've really become partial to this particular kind of a strap I see in wallets here. In fact, it accommodates uh, cash folded over once, which really truly is a nice thing. Now the pull tabs here uh, that wallet's been coming out with for a number of years, uh, I'm kind of a fan of those, but there are definitely two camps. One who like the full leather strap and those who kind of like the elastic here. Or a third camp, they don't really care. The Andar is an elastic pull tab, but its placement inside the wallet really isn't best and it doesn't lay flat. It, let me show you what this looks like here. So from the top of this video, you can see that it uh, kind of bunches up in there and isn't the, uh, the best way. Now, of course, when you push the cards down, it takes care of that, but when you pull it up, it's kind of this bunched up mode. Now, probably the, the most annoying part of this is that the cards don't eject completely all the way up. If I get our five cards we put in here and put them in a slot like this, and I pull it up, you can see how small of an opening or a exposure we have there, and that kind of makes it difficult to grab the cards. It really, if something's gonna pull up like most cards, it comes up to be about like this, and that's where I would expect something to be. So that's just one thing to consider there. Uh, as part of this offering, as you push it down and you try and pull it, you pull it up, and it really doesn't provide a lot of exposure for the cards there. Um, the wallet measures four and an eighth inches by two and fifteen sixteenth inches by a th a three eighths of an inch uh, thick. It does have a one year warranty on it. So now let's get to the final score. For quality, a three. Price, a two. Features, a three. Usability, a three, and perception, a three, which gives us a final score of twenty eight out of fifty. Thanks for joining us today. Look at these videos, see if they're interesting. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end. And if you have any other questions for us, put them in the comments below or send us an email. We appreciate you. Thanks. Bye.